come. Heard Yalmar came here to gather men for his expedition. Aye, he did. Such spirit. Stormed in, swept the bowls off the table, jumped atop of it and cried, I'm sailing off to seek glory. Who's with me? Who wants to cut off that bloody giant's head? Guess that was enough to recruit a longboat full of men. Ah, they carried him out on their shoulders, yelling all the while, we'll win back the forge, string that giant up by his gizzards. Should have seen it, Witcher. Brought tears to my eyes. Yalmar must have had a plan. Tell me about it. Plans? Ha! <laughs> they didn't even know where to look for this giant. As I recall, Viggy wanted to cross a frozen lake and scale the mountain. They say the giant came from there? Awoken by the frost that gripped the land around the tower? To the harsh winter. Suited that man-eater perfectly. It can only get worse. Even the gods... Well... Mm -hmm. Another one don't believe Ragnarok is nigh. You'll see. All of yous. They wanted to take back a forge? What's that about? Never heard the Unvikers forge the best armor in these isles. Their swordsmiths are nothing to sneeze at either. Because we made our blades like the dwarves forged the sails. Soft layered core fitted with a hard steel coating. How do you know? That's a clan Todorok secret. Got some friends who are dwarves. Perhaps you do. But the ore from the mines of Unvik, why not even... Well, no one's got it. That's that. Yalmar seems popular around here. He is crack, son. Clever lad. Put together a fine crew. Hardy drinkers and warriors both. By the times I've had to piece together tables and benches after hosting them. The Unvik lads he took on. No spring minnows either. In fact, was a clan Tordorach man gave Yalmar the idea for the expedition. The shipwright, uh, what's his name? Figgy, that's him. Hope to earn a new by name, the Fearless. Till now they'd call him the Loon. So long. Glad to be of service. If you need to know more about Undvik or the Giant, ask Axel, or that one over there, Ranter. What do you want? I'm looking for people from Unvik. They're dead. See now, I heard many survived. Stubborn, get your... What do you want to know? You there when the giant attacked? Aye, I was. One of the Jarl's personal guards. Uh, I failed him. Let no credence to what the priestesses said. We'd be punished. For robbing the earth of iron. Forging it into blades that men kill one another with. The Freya would punish us. Perhaps they spoke the truth. Jarl of Undvik. Tell me about his death. Jarl Harald Houndsnout. His whole crew died that night. Wilmar, Wilfred and Wilhelm. I reached them too late. Saw the giant dash Wilmar against a rock. He fell right beside me. All his bones broke, wriggling like a salmon on the sand. Harold was dead by then. What? No, Jarl fought like a bear. Slicing and dodging and hollering, then slicing again. Couldn't save himself, though. How did you manage to survive? First I heard the giant growl to those flying sirens. Damn me if he weren't giving them orders. Under stress, men see all kinds of things. I know what I saw. Rushed to help the Jarl, but one of the cunts sunk her talons in me, lifting me up. Tried to take me to their nest, pecked me apart, I reckon. But I broke loose of her grip, plummeted from quite a height, crashed hard, couldn't stand. Last thing I saw, swarm of sirens swooping down on the Jarl, thrashing round him. He yipped, he yelped, he screamed, he hollered. Then silence. The men escorting the women and the children to the ships took my unconscious flesh away and brought me to Hard Skellig. I should go. Yeah.
I'm looking for men from Hundvik. Yavor's from the Isle, and I once cut those waters with nary a rest. Could trace you the shoreline in my sleep. A lovely excursion, if not for the bloody sirens. I'm the one to ask. Me or excellent Tarnarok. He's over there. What can a bloke from Art Skellig know about Unvik? Heard you trilling a different tune when Yalmar was gathering his crew. Your love for the Ancrete fade that quick. Ah, that doesn't mind, Dan Dyer. Yalvar's from there, or so he claims. And you seem to know these waters. Why didn't you sail with Yalmar? Because that kind of expedition needs a true leader. And a wilt looking to collect bumps on his skull can only be its doom. Once I... You'd rather sit in your arse nose in the air, you Zerakinian princess. Brave lad comes along. You sail with him. I'd have sailed with Yalmar if only those seahorse hadn't banjaxed my knee. Would have sailed instead of sharing a table with a grumpy barnacle like you. You'd sail with anyone who'd let you aboard. Crack's daughter included. You mentioned sirens. Many on Hundvik? So, so many. More on the other as. Bollocks. Once they attacked Lars and me when we were fishing. Before we could drive him off, they pulled Lars in the water and scratched me up so bad that... Boy! Drive away the sirens? How's that work? Ha! <laughs> Plain to see you're no islander. With a horn wall's horn. One toot, and they plow and scurry off so quick the waves rock your boat. Need to get to Undvik. Uh, another thrill seeker. Well then, listen close, lest you end in a watery grave. Sail out of port and head southwest. Watch for rocks protruding like pricks out of the water. You'll have to do some tricky tacking to get past them. Some of them shorter, just below the surface, so careful not to scrape right over them. They breach your hull, you're done for. Cause just a few minutes in that icy water makes a corpse. One time I remember... Stick to the point. Oh, fine. Watch for the currents, cause they can drag you off course. Dash against the rocks, even. With a bit of luck, you'll land on the same beach where Jalmar landed. Nice talking to you, but time I was on my way. So long. Fair winds to you. Nice. To Fair winds to you.
Brancão. Sea graves. How the islanders bury their fallen. Clan on crate. Wonder what caused the avalanche. How long are you gonna make me wait? <sighs>
someone dragged a litter through here. Giant tracks. And my blood's coursing souls. It's time, high time, I was homeward bound to the modest abode whose corners I roamed.
I long to be home to the modest abode whose corners are wrong to my doubt I long I long to be home to the modest abode whose corners I roam to I know that song. What are you doing here? Look, man. Another one. And so many times I've told him. What's that you say, Wilfred? <laughs> right you are. They never learn. At least this one heard a song before he died. Who were these men? My crew? They swore never to leave me. Kept their word. Tall one's Wilmar, Wilfred's to his right, and the lad with the stutter's Wilhelm. Why do you and your crew stay? We cannot leave. If we ventured it again, the giant would kill us all. Like he did the others. Why'd the giant spare you? Me and my crew and the sirens. We're helping him build a longship. I sew the sails and run away at times, and then the sirens fly out and bring me back. Why does he need a ship? Where does he want to go? Promise not to tell no one. I trust my men to take the secret to their graves. But you... Promise, won't tell anyone. Fine then. The giant's going to sail her out to defeat the gods come Ragnarok. The final battle for the world's end. She'll soon be ready. Not much game here, but I saw the giant give you food. Where's he get it? Don't know. Don't ask. Food suits me. Suits my crew. Over there, on the ground. Hands got bite marks on it. What? Where? Well, Mark, damn it. You're supposed to clean up. Couldn't keep a secret if your life depended on it. We had a choice. Had her starved to death. And I didn't force anyone. You know, whole crew voted in favor. You're Harald Houndsnout, Jarl of Undvik? Heard you were dead. We look like stiffs to you. Me and me lads. Uh, well... Exactly. So they all think me dead, you say? Mayhaps it's for the best. I'm looking for Hjalmar on Crate. Word is he came to this isle with a crew, aimed to defeat the giant. I saw him, as did Wilmar. Sure it was him? Wilmar's got eyes like a hawk. They stood where you stand now. Poor sheep they were in, neath the red, fallen Viggy. And just between you and me, that boy is not quite right in the head. Oh. The young on Crete was here too. They recognize you? No. Thank the gods. Remember when this was? When what was? When Hjalmar on Crete was here with his men. Oh, that? No, I don't remember. You might ask Wilhelm, though. They say where they were headed? Did they, Wilmar? Oh, hey. Aim to make camp in the old guard tower. <laughs> Easy enough to find. Stands in the middle of a valley, garden, absolutely nothing. Try to come back for you once I've found Yalmar. <laughs> Sound awfully sure you'll find him? Maybe you can kill the giant while you're at it, all on your own. They're the same to a man, aren't they, Wilhelm? All think themselves immortal. Gotta go. So long. Hey, if you really aim to return, mind bring me some solid twine. You're like to find it in the village. And nails. We're short on nails. Can you remember that? Nails and twine. I'll remember.
Need to find another way. Yalmar's encampment. They were attacked. Broken back, as if he fell from a height. Many wounds. Must have fought for a long time. Two people came through here, separately. These tracks are older. Somebody left the camp before the attack. smack in a Necker's lair and cut the beast down. Hardy folk, these Skelligers. Didn't come back for his arrows. slowed the pursuer. Archer was determined to kill him. Wonder why. Got hit here first, but kept going. Kept going, though he could barely walk. Lost a lot of blood. Couldn't have gone much further. Lost a lot of blood. Couldn't have gone much further. a second arrow here. Got him good this time. Now where'd that archer go? Must be one of Yalmar's men. Now where'd that archer go? Must be one of Yalmar's men. Now where'd that archer go? Trolls. Dragged him into the cave. Wonder if he's still alive. 
Archer was wounded too. Something cooking over there. in something. Play me for the man, then. If I win, I take him with me. If I lose, I'll jump in the pot, too. Good! Good! What? <laughs> no, 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 bubble! First riddle. Lot eats, lot drinks. Big E, B. Step Big E. Big E bash! A troll, of course. Uh, good troll. Now you ask. I'm light as a feather, but even a troll can't hold me for long. Square. 
Stupid riddle. Feather. Troll not old. Not this. Can you walk? Uh, I... Uh, I'll manage. Let's get out of here. You all right? Never go in a sauna again, as long as I live. Other than that, I think I'm fine. You saved my life. How can I thank you? I'm looking for Hjalmar. Hjalmar? Curious where he is myself. Him and the whole crew. Something must have happened. Otherwise, he'd have come looking for me after I went missing that night. I know he would have. Wait now. Why are you looking for Yalmar? Croc sent me here to find Yalmar. New king will soon be chosen on Ard Skellig. Everybody's waiting for the young Ankrate's return. So it started already. Yalmar, ruler of all Skellige. Doubt he's cut out for it. Yalmar's irresponsible. Stubborn and heeds no counsel. But he's a born leader. Been mates since we were lads. With him and Ceres. Ceres has put forth her claim to the throne as well. Ceres? But she's... Well, she's... Like father, like daughter. What about Crack? He support her? He let her set off on some daft quest. Wasn't thrilled. Especially since Sarah set out without telling him. Nor did she tell me. Where'd she go? Who'd she take with her? Speaker Og. And no one. She went alone? Damn the dogs! If Yalmar'd only... Has she come back, do you know? Yeah, she's back. Did what she set out to do, too. Thank the gods. The expedition. Tell me about it. Started like the best ballads. With a hearty storm, sail whipped about like a rag, finally caught sight of shore. But then sirens attacked, as if they'd just been biding their time. But we'd have come through somehow, I know it, if not for the bloody helmsman. Helmsman made a mistake? I'd say his ma made the mistake. Birthed them our sways or something. Dim that one. Heard tales and was so afraid of sirens he stuffed wax in his ears. Failed to hear our warning calls. Steered us right into the rocks. Lost a few men. Had to drag the wounded on litters. And the sirens pestered us the whole while. Yalmar kept blowing his horn. But we'd come too close to the hillside and he brought an avalanche down on us. Not your lucky day, it seems. What happened next? We found that daft bugger in the ship. Then pitched camp near the guard tower. Things seemed to calm. How'd you get separated from the others? <clears throat> Had to watch for the night. Saw Egnar of Faro steal Yalmar's hornwall horn. One he uses to drive away sirens. Bugger snuck out of camp. I followed him. No idea what got into that ginger head of his. Told Yalmar not to take him with us, a thousand times at least. And? You catch up to him? Aye. In these caves. Bastard screeched so loud he drew the trolls. Thought the buggers would eat me right then. Dropped me in a marinade instead. Decided I was ready to cook today. Would have been the end of me if not for you. Any idea where Yalmar thought he might find the giant? We'd learned where it has its lair. In the caves above the village. Yalmar decided the best way there would be to cross the lake. Viggy the loon insisted he knew a better way, through the mines. But none of us fancied strolling into a monster pit. Think I know enough. So long. Wait. I'll go with you. Luckily the trolls didn't use my bow for kindling. Good. Let's go.
crystalline. Okay. Okay. 